Hello, nice to see you, and today I want to show you how to upgrade the memory in an Acer Tor NAS. By default, it comes with 2 gig, and you can see it had less than 100 meg free. It took me quite a while to find compatible memory in the UK. I did check the Acer Tor website, and in the end, I had an online chat with Crucial. They recommended this memory, and it has worked brilliantly. So I've got two sticks, 4 gig each. The Acer Tor NAS I have can take a total of 8 gig, and you can see it's actually suitable for use in Max and installation only took maybe five ten minutes so you've got to unplug everything from your NAS and unscrew these three screws and that allows you to take the casing off be careful when you're taking these out these screws are actually quite tiny so put them somewhere safe once you've removed the screws the main top case will easily slide off and you'll notice there's a metal side which is facing us and you'll see when I tip this over, you've got a kind of paper or plastic. I'm not quite sure what this is, but that's the side you're going to be working on. And you see the cutouts. This is where the memory is located. So you've got two sticks, one facing down, one facing up. So do be aware of that because you're about to take these out and replace them. So from here, it's just a case of literally replacing the two memory sticks. Just take them out. That's the one that's facing down. So I'd suggest just doing one at a time so you don't get confused and simply replace it with the new memory it slides in it is a little bit tricky but it does have uh, little guides which you can pop these into and then it feels nice and secure and that little flap just goes over it the other one is label side up and again just slot that back in and once you're done that is it the memory has been upgraded you then just replace the case making sure that you've kept those little screws so pop the case back on screw it back in place and you're done you you can power this all back up plug it all back in and you will be able to check straight away that the memory has been uh, successfully installed because if you go back to the activity monitor click memory you'll see you've now got just under eight gig and you can see here i've got about just over four and a half gig free i've put a link to this memory in the description below i hope you found this short how-to useful thanks for watching